appears to be, when I'm looking across the gamut, it's incredibly low cost. So I suppose sustainable in that on that front as well. But in terms of how much you're able to get for one of these launches, is it something that is being done for a commercial purposes or is it something more focused on academic? Uh, it is completely a commercial focused uh, initiative that we have. So what we have realized is uh, small satellites today to go to space, uh, they have a lot of waiting time to get over because the, the rockets that actually take them to space are actually large. So, you know, you're forced to do a ride share and ride share to space is as inefficient or probably more inefficient than ride share on the ground. So we are doing this as a commercial venture to address customers and we are telling them that, hey, in two weeks, we can get you even a dedicated mission to orbit irrespective of the size or mass that you are actually uh, uh, off. So that it doesn't matter whether you're a large satellite or a small satellite, in two weeks flat, you can go to orbit. What has demand been like so far? Uh, there's a lot of demand. I think, uh, you know, uh, the, I think my estimate for a uh, class of satellites less than 300 kg, which I'm calling as small satellites, uh, is somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 tons every year. And I'm not even including the satellites that uh, the rocket guys already have, right? Like, say, the satellites of uh, SpaceX or the satellites of... Uh, you know, uh, the Blue Origin and all of these things, they have their own rockets. I'm not even talking about that. 50 tons every year has to go to orbit, and uh, we only see that growing because more and more applications are coming up.